hello friends uh, this is Abhishek and today I am going to cover uh, I would like to tell you about IAS Internet Information Services um, Internet Information Services is basically a web server application uh, where the applications are uh, published the developers create the applications and uh, share that application which can be uh, published from IAS server and services it's a web server application and set for features extension model as you can see that uh, it has been created by Microsoft for use with Microsoft Windows uh, basically uh, IAS server or IAS service can be run on Windows server as well as Windows client on the server you have installed IAS server and uh, when the developers start working on IAS uh, services like they are designing any applications and creating any websites so uh, the IAS service or IAS services has to be run on client computer so in that way Windows server on, on Windows server IAS the same can be published now uh, I would like to tell you one thing here that before uh, IAS 7.0 in Windows Server 2008 we are using 7.0 and 7.5 in Windows Server 2008 we have a uh, IAS 8 with all good features now before IAS 7 we had uh, you know we were running on uh, client operating system that supported only 10 simultaneously uh, connections and a single website only means if one application has been uh, created at the same time only 10 users can uh, connect to that website or connect to a single website but now you have 7.0 version where you can you can create the websites and th there's certain options where you can enhance the limitation of users and uh, it's a good limit and it's a very fine uh, as compared to uh, the older version of 7.0 <laughs> now it it is IAS 7 is a mo modular architecture it's a modules uh, that is also known as extensions that means uh, for the security purpose for better reliability this 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 is IAS is one of the best uh, uh, services like you can you can add and remove individually any features on that so for the security and enhan enhancements this is also good you can also install any uh, modules if you require for specific functionality all right so uh, this is the basic concept of IES now uh, we'll check uh, how this services can be installed on Windows Server okay this is my Windows Server 2008 and uh, first of all in order to install IES service I'll go to role and uh, click on rules see here uh, I would like to uh, show you something that on Windows Server 2008 you have two features application server and the web servers see if I'll click on web server it will give you the web services roles etc but there are some features uh, like authentication authorizations basic authentication and uh, Windows authentication there are many features which you cannot see on um, if you install web server IAS once web server IAS is installed um, you need to go to features of IAS and then you can install certain features or certain resources from there now you have application server also if you click on application server and you do not select web server this will automatically automatically be, be checked when 
this installation will be finished so I would like to select this one and so we we don't need to come back for 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 installation of other features if you can see here that app application server <coughs> the small descriptions given here that application server provides center management and hosting of high performance distributed business applications such as those built with enterprise services and dot net framework 3.0 like heavy application like sql server database oracle application uh, oracle teradata and uh, sharepoint applications these are applications uh, are very heavily heavy applications and in order to get those applications published uh, we are recommending you to use application server and web server is also the same but uh, you can create the websites like http https uh, F ftp etc so i'll i'll if i'll select this one this option will automatically be checked as soon as uh will done installation so i'll click on next now it will give you the the before of begin page overview overview of application server and uh, the server configuration etc if you want to read about the application server you can see uh, the more features i'll click on next now here we go um, application server foundations is given what is application server foundation this is nothing but uh, it, it has given the some sort of idea about uh, uh, wcf wpf like these all the windows communication foundations uh, windows presentation foundations etc uh, web server ia support this is if you want to select you can select otherwise you can go next these features will automatically be installed now http activations and these are fe features are given here now as per your requirement you can come back and install these features as of now i just want to show you how installation is done for ias i'll click on next now it's saying that application server foundations almost done i'll click on install now it may take a little while so while it is um, installing here we go it's done i'll click on close all right so i'll just expand more it's taking some time here group policy management console is coming Okay, let me I'll, I'll look into this later all right let me close this and reopen it so even you can select from the role and you can click on start go to all programs administrative tools and uh, you can see here okay we'll we'll check it from the role and then we'll look into the features so so far we have covered like uh, ia server is uh, basically uh, a, a web server application and set of features extension modules 
this is uh, basically created by Microsoft for use with Microsoft Windows oops again we'll try ok and current domain controller is mine and uh, the domain controller with the operation master taken from the MDG loan any available you can click on or you can this domain click here yes and click on ok choose the different ok fine now any available domain controller you select here all right I'll close this and uh, probably uh, there's some group policy conflict by which it was not installed properly so we'll need to do the same exercise once again let me quickly wrap up this all right we'll click on rules here it is not showing only three rules install out of 16 we'll click on add rules okay see application server is already selected but it's not showing we'll find out uh, why it is not showing see it is already showing and uh, I was not paying attention I was just looking for IA server see this is the application server see you can see that, that there are many features installed here okay um, probably on the next video we'll check how to create the websites because there, there's some error is coming in this group policy and uh, I'll just uh, get out of this error and uh, show you how uh, IS servers is installed application service installed but in order to create some websites I'll also look into IA server well, thank you for watching your video have a great day.